Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Today, I want to show you a tech tip that has to do with a program called Keyboard Maestro, which is something that's available for the Mac only and is an automation tool. It lets you create macros and hotkeys and do all kinds of things to speed up the way your Mac works. Now, it's real important if you have tr certain troubles with your hands that um, you have the ability to use the mouse or the keyboard in different kind of ways. And in general, it just speeds things up, which is kind of cool. So Keyboard Maestro is a paid program. It is $36, and you can get it from keyboardmaestro.com and it does some pretty cool stuff. Um, today I'm going to create three macros and put them on a palette that can be controlled with my mouse. And the idea is if you only use your mouse for your computer this would be a very handy thing to do. So uh, I'm going to make some macros to control Microsoft Mail. I'm going to make one to create a new mail message, to send the current mail message, and to archive the mail message. So here in Keyboard Maestro, I have it up and running now, I'm going to click the plus sign in this middle column and just create a general macro and I'm going to call it mail um, new and I'm going to have it triggered I'm going to click here on this um, plus sign I'm going to have it triggered with the mallow the macro palette and then I'm going to tell it that I want to do an action and that action I click the plus sign in the third column and it's going to bring up my list of actions here under interface control I'm going to tell it to select a new menu item once I drag select a new menu item over here into my actions, it brings up the menus of all the programs that I have running. And I have a few different programs running. So I'm going to click menu and then mail and then mail again, whoops, file and then new message. And so what's going to happen is when I activate this, it's going to go into the mail app under the file menu and click on new message. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a couple more of these. Um, let's shut out the actions here and tell it to create another one and I'm going to call this one mail archive and I'm going to click on the trigger button here tell this one to launch with the macro palette then I'm going to go and add an action which will be the same one select or show a menu item I'm going to select under my menu options here mail and then this one is under message and here is archive so when this macro is activated from the palette it's going to go into the mail menu under message and it's going to select archive so there's my second macro I'm going to make one more here and I'm going to call this one mail new and I'll also have this one trigger under the macro palette and this time I'm going to have an action that is a little bit different I'm going to tell it to type a keystroke and the keystroke for um, you know what I said new up here I've already done that one this one is send so I'm gonna have mail send and the keystroke is command shift D and what that will do is issue a command shift D when I select this palette entry so now I've created these three macros here I've got mail archive mail new mail send they're all triggered by the palette when I come over here into my email program the palette is down here and you'll see mail archive mail new and mail send so let's say the first thing I want to do is get rid of this um, spam junk email that came into my mailbox so I click it with my mouse come down here to my uh, palette and click mail archive and it goes ahead and issues that mail archive command and you'll see that it's gone or I can come down here and say mail new and it'll fire up a new email um, and I'm gonna send this one to tech at eastersealscrossroads.org and I'm gonna type test in here and by the way I could be doing these um, type keystrokes with an on-screen keyboard then I'll come down here and I'll select mail send and it'll issue that command and it'll send that email message off. So this is kind of an interesting, a little bit techy way to go about things, but it's going to let you create a, a palette of macros that can do almost anything that you can imagine. As you mess around with Keyboard Maestro, you're going to find that it has tons and tons of options. And as we move along here, I'll probably do some more um, tech tips related to Keyboard Maestro because I'm finding that it can do some pretty cool stuff. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.